Yeah, so this boat is the last of the Ultime uh, Multihulls. Um, so it has been splashed in March this year. So we are just uh, yeah, nine months after the first sea trials. Um, we have here, uh, so the full sail plan is more or less the same as the other boats. The main difference is that we have the cockpit uh, in the middle of the boat. We used to say it's in front of the mast because it's what it really looks like when we have a look at the boat. But it's not really forward, it's really in the middle of the boat. And the idea is to have, uh, uh, to have all the, the weight and, uh, and the life area at the gravity center of the boat. Um, then the sail plan is pretty conventional with a wing mast that we can rotate and, uh, and swing side to side with the mainsail, uh, which is uh, with a three reef mainsail. And then we have uh, four head sails. One is full time uh, on, the on the structural forestay. It's the J2, which is the average uh, uh, mid wind condition uh, head sail. And then we have three other head sails which are stacked uh, on the backs when we don't use. So we have uh, two conventional foils, uh, which are L-shaped foils. Uh, so um, we are, they are now in the upside position, but we can go down. And then we have this horizontal uh, part, the tip of the foil, which give a big lift when we sail. And as soon as we reach 20 knots of boat speed, we have uh, the lift effect. And we can uh, um, trim the foils with the rake a few degrees up or down. Uh, regarding the sea state conditions and the wind conditions and then on the we cannot really see on this side because we have the rib there but if we go on the other side we have the conventional uh, rudders at the at the back of the boat one on each hull but at the bottom of this rudder we have also a horizontal uh, foil plan that gives the give the balance and the trim of the boat we can adjust that to have uh, to have the boat uh, horizontal or a little bit uh, balanced and uh, longitudinal plan. And under the central hull, what do you have? Well, we have a uh, conventional dagger board uh, that we use uh, mainly on the upwind conditions. And then the other boats also have a um, uh, horizontal uh, foil uh, plan, wh which we don't have yet because our boat uh, has been splashed only this year and we didn't want to have all the foils and all the systems at the same time because this boat this sort of boat takes a long time to, to, um, to trim and to learn about it and, uh, and we wanted to have a first season uh, uh, only focused on the, on the side fold. Yeah. But uh, we have a second dagger board uh, on the way which is already under built and that we will install uh, this winter and uh, next year we will be fully operational with, uh, with this last uh, appendage. Uh, so yeah, the full control comes from the inside because at uh, this sort of speed we spend 99% of the time inside. Uh, most of the control, uh, when we are not maneuvering or changing sails, everything uh, happens here in the inside. Uh, so we have the conventional part with all the winches and all the ropes, aliases, etc. coming from the sails to trim or change the sails. And then for all about the foils or the mast uh, cans, uh, it comes with hydraulics. So we have uh, two uh, hydraulic pumps, but everything comes by hand with the pedestals. And we have this hydraulic panel that, uh, with the electro valves or the manual valves, that we can swap, switch the, the, different, um, the different positions of the foils and of the rudders, and that <coughs> helps all the, the flight control. And then we have here, everything is turned off right now, but we have all the, the displays, and we have plenty of sensors everywhere on the boat and so we know the positions or the pressures in the hydraulic systems and uh, that helps when we are when we are inside uh, this uh, this um, this boat to give the information of the trim and of the position because we we can't really see as well as on a conventional boat where we can really well see the, the sails and the folds etc so we really need to have the backup of the electronics all the time and to see the numbers and uh, to have a a good information of the trim of the boat and what we want to do. Briefing can be completely done from here because we can uh, we have a remote control for the locks and all that stuff. We used to have a, we used to go outside to have a final lock at the end of the maneuver and to be sure that everything is right. Uh, but yeah, that 99 percent of the time we are here inside. We go out uh, to change the sail or to do a check of all the systems. Usually, uh, Thomas likes every day to have a 
to have a, a look around so maybe sometimes it needs to slow down a little bit the boat but take a couple minutes to have a look at everything the sheaves the folds the belts and all the structural systems uh, and to be sure that everything is fine it, especially for a long course that will be 30 days if you if you don't have a look at the machine every day then you can have a serious problem this helming position is quite interesting isn't it so you are head up is yeah. it is it dry is it yeah definitely well dry no nothing <laughs> is very dry in this world <laughs> but yeah it's that's one one of the big question when they design the boat we did some modifications since since the beginning especially this this spray breaker here but the position uh, the position for the helm is really interesting because we are just in front of the mast. We have a very, very nice view on the on the forestays and on the, on the on the head sails. It's a little bit more complicated to have a look on the twist of the sails. So this is one of the only stuff we need to go back at the boat when we trim our sails to have a proper view on the twist. But it's really, really fun to to be here in the front uh, at the helm, and it's. I mean, it's more or less like on the other boat. We have the displays, we can see the hulls, and it's 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 quite quite cool. Like on a race car, we are in the front, not in the back. He's really happy with uh, with with it. Uh, Jean Luc is a little bit more skeptical about this this new concept, but uh, no, Thomas is enjoying it, and uh, and we can see he's happy on this boat as soon as we are, as soon as he touched the helm, he has a big <laughs> smile. And, and when when they're racing, is this is will this be hatch open most of the time, or yeah. autopilot and hatch closed? No, actually, most of the time it's gonna be closed, especially in uh, in short uh, short crew uh, mode. Um, the fact is that in ninety percent of the condition, the autopilot is doing better than the than any guy. Uh, so we just close everything. It's more it's with this boat. It's more important to be well focused on the on the trim of the sails and especially also the trim of the of the foils so it's yeah it's better to have the autopilot on uh, if the sea state and the, the conditions are quite stable and uh, and just to be inside safe and have a look on the on our trims and on the on the fold setup and on the numbers and this is most of the time uh, what will happen for the next month for them we have the head sail sheet on the primary um, then we have the main traveler on this winch and the main sail sheet which is in position right now on this sheet and this is when we are in the hot conditions let's say and this is are the three controls you want to keep on because um, the yeah the worst stuff is just to flip yeah. over Do you, is, there a, is there a dump everything button somewhere? yeah yeah we have dump buttons at the chart table when you, as soon as you are here you can if, you, if the boat starts to heal then you can easily ease quickly one of the conditions. But the, pro the problem is that when you are at the chart table, on when you are doing food, or uh, you're a bit far. So we have uh, emergency buttons in the inside. And then we also have, so what I can show you with one of the sheet here, that's the new one, that's in position. When, when the guy is just in position but sleeping, we used to have the sheets here around with only the minimum wraps around the winch and then he can come here here is the like the standby position he just turned the, all the numbers to have everything he can see his autopilot here he can see all the numbers here have a look at the computer inside and then if something goes wrong at some stage hop he can take it in hand and then we also have um, automatic uh, system if the hills go over too much the main the main sheet the um, sheet of the main cell is like a two to one one end is coming on the winch but the other one is on the hydraulic ram inside the boom and then this one can also release automatically if we go over like 18 degrees of hill or something like that we can trim that with the computer so yeah these are the the main safety stuff we have uh, just to avoid uh, disaster um, but sometimes, yeah, in the condition when we want to push, we are always close to this limit. So it's, yeah, go fast, but be ready to save the boat.